So, you know, they do Neat. a lot of particle physics and stuff like that. Cool. So, um, but, yeah. Are those cupcakes? Yeah. <laughs> those are some cute cupcakes, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I don't, so describes, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not familiar with, with each one of those. So, so where's Harp at? Harp. So what is? Uh, yeah, that's that's not, that, that's really not in there. there. <laughs> not uh, free space <laughs> antenna range. What is that? Yeah. Where where is that? That's right here. Um, do you know that one? Free space antenna range. Yeah, it's Pamunkey. It's yeah, our exactly. Pamunkey facility. Okay. Maryland. Is that yeah, Maryland? Haste yeah. Egg. No, no. MIT. It's in Southern Maryland. Okay. So it's in Charles County. Okay. okay. Indian Head, Brands Road. Okay. But anyway, okay. we, 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 Stennis. That's uh, the big <laughs> the cloud making rocket down there. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. So most of the people here. Do we have anybody from Stennis here? I haven't seen anybody okay, yet. Okay, I haven't either. It wouldn't have surprised me, though. And then that's our Patch yeah. River guys yeah. and um, yeah. Tuxent, our yeah. squadron. Yeah. And I, can, I can't read that one because it's like Chesapeake, Chesapeake Bay. Bay. Yeah. So we have a Chesapeake yeah. Bay yeah. facility yeah. on the bay yeah. that um, our fire research is moving to. The, first time the, the what ship, fire? Star? Fire research? I thought you said star fire, like no. the optical so pond. So we used to catch a ship on fire. <laughs> And they're moving it to um, very cool. Where very cool. Came out so, of. how much? How much do you know about ionospheric modification? Not too much. <laughs> but that's probably out of our um, DC, and we, our, one of our guys just left. Um, okay. Yeah. Andy Nichols and Chris Englert, who is going to be speaking at two o'clock out of our space science division. Would know okay. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a fascination yes. for me. I have a bunch of questions yeah. about it. Um, I, I know that the, 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 the Naval Research Lab got with the U.S. Air Force, and you know, for the design and mod, you know, modeling of the Harp facility, that you know that it's used for basically controlling the ionosphere. Yeah. Uh, we don't talk about the heart facility anymore, do we? Or do we? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't know. I know that it was sold to the University <laughs> yeah. of Alaska. We, we work there, and now it's like, yeah. um, don't talk about it. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. So, well, but here's an email. Yeah. This is our space science division. Who would know about that? Okay. Yeah. And I would email them, and they will answer you. Okay. Um, well, the, the, you guys, the Naval Research Lab, have retweeted me a couple times talking about Hart. So on Facebook? Yeah, or on, Twitter? Uh, on Twitter. Yeah. I, whenever you guys uh, made the largest, the densest plasma cloud in for the longest time in history is five minutes made a plasma fireball in the ionosphere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had oh, tweeted I some stuff yeah, about it and the Naval Research Lab retweeted me. Yeah, I um, I've actually mapped out every ionospheric heater on the planet. They're on my map, climateviewer.org. And I happen to know just about as much about ionospheric heating as anybody on the planet. So what I was just hoping to do was talk to somebody about so Andy, the whys and what fours of it, because I, um, that I could give the, when yeah, cer back to certainly, the booth, because yeah. you're not scheduled to be in the booth, but I could give them your yeah, card. certainly, um, and that and would be um, one he of can, our. He can he could check out my video stars. on YouTube sure. how Harp really works. It's well over a hundred thousand views and climbing, but. Yeah, I mean, it's a fascination of mine because, you know, even the guys upstairs at the Weather Modification Conference, um, you, you bring up ionospheric modification. Everybody runs like cockroaches when you turn the light on. Um, and honestly, you know, treaty issues aside with NMOD, it's a real gray area. And I have all, in fact, I have them all right here in my book sack. Um, you know, all of the discussions that have gone into this, you know, between the you know United States Navy, the Air Force, the joint um, programs, and all that stuff, and uh, you know I have a very big YouTube channel and and you know Facebook and all that, and I have three websites. So we talk about this sort of stuff. I did a GoFundMe to come here, and people want me to ask some hard questions. And honestly, like this ionospheric heating thing, it's pretty fascinating. Um, you know, with the Russian government saying things like what they say about heart. Um, they say it's a mind control weapon, and of course, I think that's stretching the truth also, but I don't think there's ever been a real discussion in public with straight faces about ionosphere heaters, yet the kinetic guys that are over there, they own the Tromso in Norway. I'm going to go ask them next, and I'm going to go harass the, the Raytheon guys who built the antennas. But why not? I mean, this is well, if yeah. if it if it's on the up and up, yeah, and if it is the name what is everybody, probably, you know, we're gonna speak in a different way than other public people. But 
No. I'll have them reach out to you. I would appreciate it. I have lots of questions. Okay. And basically, inquiring minds want to know. And well, with with a lack of yeah, 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 yeah with with a with a lack of credible evidence and somebody to actually tell the truth about this stuff, conspiracy theories abound. And one of my website is where conspiracy meets reality. So we don't like conspiracy theories. We try to get hard facts from people, map it out, make timelines, all that sort of thing, so that people can understand. Look, the U.S. Navy is doing something that started in the '60s. And you know, ionospheric modification started that far back with sounding rockets. About the time we banned the upper atmospheric nuclear explosions, they started using sounding rockets and, and heaters and stuff. So the fact it's just that it has such a long history, but nobody's willing to talk about it. So that's why there are so many conspiracy theories. We just like to get past that and say, you know. Could you explain to me just realistically why the military would like to control the ionosphere? Because they tried with the Westford needles and that was a horrible, um, you know, incident in scientific history. And now we're at a point where they're cooking the sky in 17 different locations worldwide. And then I, I asked people about it. I don't want to talk about it. I really appreciate no you worries. talking I'll, to me. I'll but yeah, get that. This is my, this is my website okay. business, but these are my, my you know, Okay. Websites that deal with that, weather modification history, and climateviewer.org, we've actually mapped out all the ionosphere heaters. It's on a cesium. You guys are using it right there. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. If this video resonates with you, leave me a comment because I love hearing from you all. First time here? Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. The bell doesn't always work, so come to climateviewer.com and sign up for our newsletter. Remember, it would be impossible for me to do this without your support, so please join my Patreon or buy me a coffee on PayPal. And always, attack ideas, not people.